So where do new product ideas really come from? For me, it actually comes from problems I have on my own farm. And I know that if I have those problems, there's a whole lot of other farmers across the Midwest that have similar or even the exact same problem. So then it comes down to saying, how do we go after and solve and figure out the answers to these kind of problems? For 360 Rain, it started way back with the germ of an idea in 2017. That late spring on a seed field that I had, so remember, four rows of female, one row of male, that male corn went in in tough conditions and then a hard rain yet that night. It's all about timing of heat units. So we had a male row that's not coming out. And for any of us that are in seed corn production, we know if we don't have a male pollinator, we don't have any corn yield. So I was thinking of all the solutions I had that would come in and do one row out of five. And I was thinking of rotary hose. Remember now we have the female corn up four inches. It was a big delay. I was trying to figure out what could we do to get that male corn to come up versus replanting and missing the nick. And we hit upon the idea with our John Deere sprayer and wide drop sitting right there on the lot. We said, why wouldn't we go out and tie our wide drop hoses together? And let's put on a quarter of an inch an acre of water right over that row, soften it, fire off the germ, and get that corn coming up and out of the ground. But we well realize that while it worked for a thousand gallon John Deere sprayer with two wide drop hoses tied together to put on a quarter of an inch on every fifth row, we knew that we weren't gonna get an inch of water on a hundred acre field all the way across. That's over 2.7 million gallons or 405 tankers. But what if we could? What if we could take a self propelled sprayer and hook a hose reel to it and start to feed it on the move, would it be possible? We put our heads together and we went to work. So it started off with some really crazy ideas. And it was simple this, a broken down old detasseling machine with a over 2000 foot hose reel, four inch, hooked to one of my irrigation wells. And we were off to the races at a whopping 0.3 tenths of a mile an hour. And what we quickly discovered is that by putting the right diameter hose next to the row, we were able to keep a band. And so the first year, once we started to figure out with a young intern driving it, we could put on a third of an inch of water and we started on a 60 acre field and it was amazing what the difference was in yield. My agronomist told me, he said, Greg, I've never would have believed you could have seen this kind of a yield response. So after the first season in 19, we proved ourselves that this is real. We could create a million dollar rain with a tremendous yield response. Now it was a matter of saying, how do we make this work? And so we brought a great team of minds together and we started down the path of saying, we need a machine that will live in the field from the day after planting to the day before harvest. It will be autonomous and it's gonna have the ability and the intelligence to work day and night. So as we started to develop, sure, we run into lots of little mountains and peaks, but at the end of the day, and I've found this out from the beginning of time since I started inventing, you never give up. And even if it breaks a thousand times, that's what ends up creating the ideal technology. So we would go to the field, we would discover a rough spot, we would redesign, and we would get to the point where I am just excited to have each and every one of you take a look at 360 rain as it is today, while realizing that when we go to sales in 2023, I can assure you it will look different, but the results will be the same or better.